celebrities who were fired from jobs. Even the biggest names in Hollywood have been fired from jobs at some point. Nick Cannon was fired from Viacom CBS in July 2020 after making anti-Semitic remarks on his Cannon's Class podcast. The America's Got Talent alum said that black people can't be anti-Semitic when we are the Semitic people and he also stated that white people are a little less than black people due to a lack of melanin. Similar to Cannon, ABC cut ties with Roseanne Barr from her namesake sitcom in 2018 after making a racist comment about Valerie Jarrett, a black woman who served as former President Barack Obama's advisor. Barr referred to the Planet of the Apes when mocking Jarrett via Twitter, and the network responded by condemning her rhetoric and firing her. Meanwhile, stars such as Madonna and Snoop Dogg were axed from positions before they reached the level of fame they have today. In the next minutes you can see what stars have been fired from jobs over the years. Lisa Kudrow The Mad About You alum revealed that she was set to play Roz Doyle on Frasier before filming for the pilot took a turn. I wasn't right for the part, or for the chemistry of the group, Kudrow explained during the Howard Stern show in June 2021. So that wasn't working. Kudrow then went on to audition for Friends, but was worried she wouldn't get the part. The actress explained how she felt director James Burroughs let her go from Frasier because he didn't like her acting, so she was worried when she had to audition for him again. I did it and he went, no notes, Kudrow explained. I left going that either means, she's beyond help and helpless, just like I always knew, or yeah, it's perfect. I have no notes. Gina Carano In February 2021, Lucasfilm announced that the Texas native would not return to The Mandalorian after two seasons. The actress, who played Cara Dune, came under fire for sharing controversial posts on social media, one of which equated modern Republicans to Jewish people during the Holocaust. Johnny Depp after a judge ruled that Johnny Depp physically assaulted ex-wife Amber Heard at least 12 times in 2020, the actor was cut from the third Fantastic Beasts film. I have been asked to resign by Warner Brothers. From my role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts and I have respected and agreed to that request, he wrote via Instagram at the time, before denying that the allegations made against him were true. His role is set to be recast. Nick Cannon Viacom CBS announced in July 2020 that they would end their longtime partnership with the masked singer-presenter due to anti-Semitic comments he made on his Cannon's Class podcast. In response to the firing, Cannon reprimanded the company in a lengthy Facebook statement and demanded to have ownership of his billion-dollar Wild and Out brand. I will not be bullied, silenced, or continuously oppressed by any organization, group or corporation, he wrote. I am disappointed that Viacom does not understand or respect the power of the black community. I was a member of the Viacom family for over 20 years. Since I was a minor, we worked together to make great positive entertainment and I was handed many opportunities that I am grateful for. Cannon also apologized for the way he furthered the hate speech. Dean Gwynn MTV announced that it was cutting all ties with the Challenge star in June 2020. As a result of Dean Wen's offensive comments on the Black Lives Matter movement, we have severed ties with her, the series announced via Twitter at the time. Out of respect for our challengers, we'll air our season as planned. We strongly condemn systemic racism and stand with those raising their voices against injustice. In Jiawen released an apology via social media, noting that she is a POC that cares about BLM, and would be stepping away from her social media to focus on her mental health. Hartley Sawyer The actor was fired from The Flash in June 2020 following multiple homophobic and racist tweets resurfacing. Hartley Sawyer will not be returning for season 7 of The Flash, the CW, Warner Brothers. TV and Berlanti Productions said at the time. 
In regards to Mr. Sawyer's posts on social media, we do not tolerate derogatory remarks that target any race, ethnicity, national origin, gender, or sexual orientation. Such remarks are antithetical to our values and polices, which strive and evolve to promote a safe, inclusive and productive environment for our workforce. Julianne Moore The Academy Award winner revealed during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in March 2019 that she was fired from the film Can You Ever Forgive Me? Before production had even begun. I didn't leave that movie, I was fired, she clarified. Nicole Holofsener fired me. I think she didn't like what I was doing. Moore also discussed the rejection she felt following the incident. The only other time I was fired was when I was working at a yogurt stand when I was 15. So it felt, yeah, it felt bad. Megan Kelly Kelly was let go from NBC in October 2018 after she made controversial comments about blackface on Megan Kelly Today, which was subsequently cancelled. The morning show had only been on for a year. You truly do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface at Halloween or a black person who puts on whiteface, she said on the show. That was okay when I was a kid, as long as you were dressing like a character. The journalist later apologized for her remarks. I realize now that such behavior is indeed wrong, and I am sorry. She left with the full remainder of her $69 million contract. Matt Lauer The Today Show co-host was fired from NBC overnight after a colleague accused him of sexual misconduct in the workplace. Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb announced the news live on air on Wednesday, November 29. Kathy Griffin CNN fired the comedian from its New Year's Eve special after she posed for a photo featuring a decapitated head that resembled President Donald Trump. CNN has terminated our agreement with Kathy Griffin to appear on our New Year's Eve program, the network tweeted on May 31st. 2017. Hours earlier, Griffin, who also lost an endorsement with Squatty Potty over the incident, apologized for her actions. Kate Walsh After she got fired from Burger King, the assistant manager didn't like me, she has said, Walsh went to Dairy Queen. I stayed in fast food royalty. Paula Abdul, Nicole Scherzier, and Steve Jones. X Factor judges Abdul and Scherzinger were abruptly given the axe after the Fox hit's first season, along with host Jones. None of the three left on their own accord, Deadline reported, adding that the show's producers were cleaning house. Janet Hubert. Fightin' Words. When Fresh Prince of Bel-Air mom Hubert was replaced by actress Daphne Reed in 1993, the actress placed the blame squarely on the series star, Will Smith. This constant reunion will never ever happen in my lifetime unless there is an apology, Hubert said after asked about a possible show reunion. He doesn't know the word. Snoop Dogg the rapper's stint as a local grocery bag boy didn't last too long. I was better at stealing the groceries than I was at bagging them, Snoop has said. Madonna As a struggling up-and-coming singer in New York City, Madonna, then known as Madonna Louise Ciccone, took on several odd jobs to make ends meet. She was reportedly let go from a gig at a Times Square Dunkin' Donuts after squirting donut jelly on a customer. Check out one of our newest video right here. Plus, even more Buzzstone videos about celebs and their exes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.